ചുരുന്നോഷിതംസ്ഥാപിതമുതലെ സ്വയം വന്ദേഹം ശ്രീഗുരു ശ്രീയൂതപതകമലം ശ്രീഗുരു വൈഷ്ണവാശ്ചൂപാഗ്രജാത സഹഗണ രഘുനാഥാന്യുതം തം സജീവ സാദ്വൈതം സാവധൂതം പരിജന സഹിതം കൃഷ്ണ ചൈതന്യ ദേവം ശ്രീരാധാകൃഷ്ണപദാന് സഹഗണ ലളിത ശ്രീ വിശാഖാന്യുതം ശ്യാം ഹേ കൃഷ്ണ കരുണാ സിന്ധോ ദീനബന്ധോ ജഗത്പതെ ഗോപേശ ഗോപിക കാന്ത രാധ കാന്ത നമോസ്തു തേ തപ്ത കാഞ്ചന ഗൗരാംഗി രാധേ വൃന്ദാവരേശ്വരി വൃഷഭാനു സുധേ ദേവി പ്രണമാമി ഹരി പ്രിയേ വാഞ്ച കൽപതരൂപ്യശ കൃപാ സിന്ധുഭ്യവജ പതിതാനാഭ്യോ വൈഷ്ണവേഭ്യോ നമോ നമ ജയ ശ്രീകൃഷ്ണ ചൈതന്യ പ്രഭു നിത്യാനന്ദ ശ്രീ അദ്വൈത ഗദാധര ശ്രീവാസാദി ഗൗരഭക്ത വൃന്ദ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ 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 ഹരേ 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 രാമ ഹരേ രാമ 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 ഹരേ ഹരേ നമ വിഷ്ണുപാലായ കൃഷ്ണ ഭ്രസ്തായ ഗുരുവേ നമോ വിഷ്ണുപാതായ കൃഷ്ണ ഭ്രസ്തായ ഗുരുല ശ്രീമദശില ഭക്തി വേദാന്ത സ്വാമി നീതി നാമിനെ നമസ്തെ സർസ്വദേവ്യ ഗൗരവാണി പ്രചാരണെ നിർവിശേഷ ശന്യവാദി പാശ്ചാത്യ ദേശൈതി താരണെ ഓം നമോ ഭഗവതെ വാസുദേവായ ഓം നമോ ഭഗവതെ വാസുദേവായ ഓം നമോ ഭഗവതെ വാസുദേവായ നാരായണം നമസ്കൃത്യ നര ജൈവ നരോത്തമം ദേവീം സരസ്വതിയും വ്യാസ തഥോ ജയമുദീരേ ശുശ്രൂഷോ ശ്രദ്ധദാനസ്യ വാസുദേവ കഥാരുചി സ്യാൻ മഹത് സേവയാ വിപ്ര പുണ്യതീർത്ഥ നിഷേവനാഥ് സൃണ്വതാ സുഗതാ കൃഷ്ണ പുണ്യശ്രവണ കീർത്തന ഹൃദയ അന്തസ്ഥോ ഹ്യ ഭദ്രാണി സുധൂനോതി വിധൂനോതി സുഹൃത്സതാം നഷ്ടപ്രായേഷു അഭദ്രേഷു നിത്യം ഭാഗവത സേവയാ ഭഗവതി ഉത്തമ ശ്ലോകേ ഭക്തി ഭവതി നാഷ്ടികീം കൃഷ്ണായ വാസുദേവായ ദേവകീ നന്ദരാജ നന്ദഗോപകുമാരായ ഗോവിന്ദായ നമോ നമ നമ പങ്കജനാഭായ നമ പങ്കജ മാലിനെ നമ പങ്കജ നേത്രായ നമസ്തെ പങ്കജാംഗ്രിയേം ഹരി സോ ടുഡേ വി ആർ റീഡിംഗ് ഫ്രം ശ്രീമദ് ഭാഗവതം ക്യാൻഡോ ത്രീ chapter 15 and verse number 1 okay so let me share the screen yeah i just have to bring it up okay one second okay what happened oh. Thank you. 
this. Say, okay. So, yeah. Hare Krishna. Sorry about that. So, uh, three, uh, uh, candle three, uh, candle three, chapter 15, verse number one. Maitre Vaja Prajavatim to Tateja Parate Johanam Didihi Dethara Varshani Satam Shankamana Sudardanad. So, um, one more time. Prajabatyam tu tatteja paratejo hanam didihi dathara varshani satam shangamana surardhanad. That is um, translation and purport by is given Gesila Prabhupada ki jai. Sri Maitreya said, My dear Vidura, Didi, the wife of the sage Kashyapa, could understand that the sons within her womb would be a cause of disturbance to the demigods. As such, she continuously bore the powerful semen of Kashyapa Muni. Kashyapa Muni, one second. Uh, semen of Kashyapa Muni, which was meant to give trouble to others for 100 years. So the great sage Sri Maitreya was explaining to Vidura the activities of the demigods, including Lord Brahma. When Didi heard from her husband that the sons she bore within her abdomen would be causes of disturbances to the demigods, she was not very happy. There are two classes of men, devotees and non-devotees. Non-devotees are called demons and devotees are called demigods. No sane man or woman can tolerate the non-devotees giving trouble to devotees. Diti therefore was reluctant to give birth to her babies. She waited for 100, 100 years so that at least she could save the demigods from the disturbance for that period. So here uh, in the previous chapter, pregnancy of Didi in the evening, uh, we have heard a uh, lot of discussion about uh, Didi uh, conceiving uh, at the wrong time. Uh, that is, and um, Kashyapa Muni was very uh, distraught with the and she inquired from him, now what will happen? You know? So uh, he, he, the sage knows the uh, future. So he, see, uh, he tells her that uh, the, the, uh, the sons you will bear will, uh, will be demoniac. They will, will cause a lot of chaos in the universe, a lot of disturbances. But eventually, they will be killed by Lord Vishnu himself. And then a, her grandson would be a great devotee of the Lord. So she was pacified. She was happy that her sons will be killed by the Supreme Lord himself. Because she is uh, knowledgeable in the science of God. Uh, that is the best for uh, demons uh, to be healed at the hands of Lord Vishnu. And she is also uh, happy that a great devotee of the Lord will appear in their uh, dynasty. But at the same time, she is very afraid to uh, cause uh, disturbances uh, to the uh, demigods who are servants of Lord Vishnu. She is uh, uh, very much afraid and she is uh, uh, carrying the pregnancy for a period of 100 years. So at that time in Satya Yuga, I heard in one lecture that um, uh, they had control over the duration of pregnancy. <laughs> so she decided to postpone their appearance. 
by bearing with the troubles of pregnancy for long period of time, for 100 years. Now, we have heard in the case of Sukadev Goswami, how he refused to uh, come out of his mother's womb for a long time, for a, uh, until he was 16. And then all because he was afraid that he will fall victim to the illusory energy of the Lord, uh, the Maya. And he was afraid. He didn't want, he preferred to the existence in the confined space of the womb rather than come out into the uh, prison house of a uh, material desire. But then Lord Krishna, and so um, at the time, um, and Aditi um, uh, approached Vyasadeva, no, Vyasadeva and his wife appro approached Lord Krishna. So Krishna uh, persuaded the child in the womb that he, he will not be a victim to Maya and uh, he'll be born liberate, uh, born, uh, 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 he'll be liberated at birth. So he decided to come out of the womb and then he decided to just run away from home. But then Vyasadeva called him back by reciting slokas from Bhagavatam. And then he, and, uh, you know, he agreed to be educated by his father, etc. So here the mother is um, taking upon herself the, uh, you know, that um, my children shall not be born and uh, uh, for a while, uh, as long as she could bear. So it was 100 years time. Because here in the purport, Sula Prabhupada is saying, she knows there would be demons. And then demons are, asura or asuras, are enemies of the demigods. And demigods are protected by the Lord, Lord Supreme Lord Vishnu. So she um, she is afraid to cause uh, any disturbance to the servants of Lord Vishnu. Because history is full of um, such um, examples where uh, Lord um, would uh, you know protect the devotees and uh, um, and eliminate or uh, destroy the enemies of the demigods. So uh, non-devotees are called demons and devotees are called demigods. No sane man, a sane man or woman can tolerate the non-devotees giving trouble to devotees. Mm -hmm. So here we know the in, in verse number um, 1328, it says, uh, Indrari Krishna Bhagavan Soyam, Indrari Vyakulam Lokam, Mradayanti Yuge Yuge. So, all the above mentioned incarnations are either plenary portions of portions of the plenary portions of the Lord. But Lord Sri Krishna is the original personality of Godhead. All of them appear on planets. Whenever there is a disturbance created by the Yetis, the Lord incarnates to protect the thieves. Hmm? So Yada Yada Hitarmasya Glanir Pavati Bharata. Apirthanam Atharmasya Tadatmanam Srajamya Bhagavad Gita. Paritranaya Sadhunam Vinashaya Chadushkritam Tharma Samstavanarthaya Sabhavami Yuge Yuge. So Krishna has given promise that I will appear whenever there is disturbance, whenever the disturbance caused by the demons upset the uh, dharmic way of life. So, Didi is um, very much afraid to cause disturbance, that her sons would cause disturbance to the demigods and her. She refused to 
give birth to the children uh, until a very long time. So, uh, Srila Prabhupada says in the purport to this 1328, um, yeah, we, we don't care for the government. They say like that. But it does not mean that the prison house does not belong to the government. It is government property. But these rascals, they are being forced to live in the prison house. And still they say, we don't care for the government. This is rascal them. You are under my control. And as soon as you are in wrong, I am kicking you on your face. Still, if you say, I don't care for you, you can say that. But there is force that you say. There is force that you say, don't care. But I force you. You have to care. So it is just like uh, we, we are in this uh, prison house of material desire. There we have the choice to obey the orders of uh, the uh, authority or disobey. And the demons, are they don't care for any rules and regulations. They just want to enjoy the freedom, so-called freedom they have in this material life. Mm -hmm. And then that lands them uh, in a uh, further, another, the prison house in the prison house. So similar is the conduct of the, uh, the conduct of the uh, demoniac people. They don't care for any uh, scriptural injunctions or regulative principles. And uh, they, uh, by their activities, they create a lot of them. Um, a negative karma. That is, it's simply a play of the modes of uh, passion and ignorance. And therefore, uh, they, they get a future birth. Sada, asat, yoni, janmasu. So they are placed in the demoniac wombs. And so and Krishna says um, uh, that um, you know, for those who disobey his uh, instructions, more and more they will go down into um, into the, this um, demoniac nature until they can no longer come out of it. So that, that is the law of nature. For uh, So the non-devotees um, do not follow the scriptural injunctions or the uh, religious authority at all. So they create... Um, of more and more disturbances in society. So they have to meet with uh, death, uh, that is, mrityu sarva harasya. So Krishna say, it says, to the rascals and the demons, I am death. I take away everything. Sarva hara. Sarva hara means these rascals are trying to possess so many things. And every moment, he, uh, he, they, uh, he is under the control of the Lord. Hmm. So, and still they say, I am not controlled. If there is little pain here, he immediately becomes, where is doctor, where is doctor, where is doctor? And still he says, I am not controlled, I am God. Hmm. That is the way of demonia, Srila Prabhupada say, goes on to say. Hmm. He doesn't know what is the meaning of God. God is never controlled by anyone. That is God. That is the definition of God. So, um, um, the demon who try to imitate God, they are all killed. All killed. The, so, for example, Kamsa. He makes elaborate plans to uh, protect himself. He says, I will uh, place the Kuvalaya Pita at the gate uh, to the wrestling arena. So if Krishna and Balaram survive that gate, then they will be faced by Mushtika and Sharura. Hmm? They will take care of him. So he is inviting Krishna and Balrama to come for this wrestling match. So uh, the Kuvalaya Pita is killed, Mushtika and Sharura is killed, and in spite of Kamsa, so many uh, demons sent to Vrindavana, they were all killed. Still Kamsa is thinking, no, I will have my plan. And then I will kill my uh, father, Ugrasena. 
So like that, uh, the demons make their own um, scheming, their born scheming, that they will be, but actually they, 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 uh, there is no victory for them. Hmm? It is always uh, the hand of the Lord. Hmm? There is always the hand of the Lord protecting the, hmm, protecting the sadhus, the devotees. Hmm? So, uh, Srila Prabhupada says uh, the, there is, you know, they will even create um, uh, harassing situations like uh, artificial famine. They, ref they say we don't want to produce anymore. Then there will be a famine during the Second World War. And then this will force the people to go to uh, the um, um, to take up uh, the soldier work. Huh? That way they will uh, have members in the army for that. So they will even go to any extent to have their plans, you know, implemented. So they will cause a lot of suffering to the devotees. And, uh, and then Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, uh, eight point, um, uh, six, I mean, eight, uh, this is, uh, sixteen point six. Hmm? That is, uh, uh, So uh, the devotees are protected. In this world, there are two kinds of created beings. One is called the divine, and the other demonic. I have already explained to you at length the divine qualities. Now hear from me of the demoniac. So in the last uh, chapter, uh, we heard about uh, the devotees' qualities in uh, elaborately. Uh, Amrita Gali Mataji was reading about Prahlad Maharaja's qualities. Mm -hmm. So they are, um, you know, uh, you know Starting with the Adam Bhatta Mamanitvam, Abhayam, and all those are the 26 qualities of the Vaishnava. Now the Lord is going to describe the, the demoniac nature. And uh, we can read a little bit. Sridhara Swami says, uh, uh, in order to Empathically emphasize that the demonic nature should always be avoided and rejected. Lord Krishna reiterates that there are two uh, types of created beings, those that are of the divine nature and those that are of the demonic nature. The demoniac possesses fiendishly diabolical perverted mentalities and inanely and futilely attempt to usurp the power of the Supreme Lord for their own degraded designations. Such a demonic nature will be described and delineated in, uh, in the uh, following verses. So, in the, the Brahadaranika Upanishad, the beginning um, uh, it says Brahma created the divine beings, demoniac beings, and humans. Since humans are mentioned separately, in which category are they situated? In to clarify this point clearly, Lord Krishna explains that in the wombs of mortals there are only two types of beings: the divine and the demoniac. The qualities and attributes of the divine have been described. In, um, in the 13th chapter, examine the 24 virtues beginning with amanitam or humility, which are all part of the divine nature. The 14th chapter disclosed the characteristics of a person who has transcended the effects of the gunas or three modes of material nature. The 15th continued the instructions with freedom from pride and infatuation in verse 5. And in verse 1 of this chapter, Lord Krishna concludes the theme with the 26 virtues beginning with the word Abhaya, meaning fearlessness due to knowing the Atma or immortal soul is eternal and can never be destroyed. 
now, now Lord Krishna disclosed the characteristics of the behavior of those who follow the demoniac nature. Uh, uh, the, in, in each day of Brahma, creation commences which exists for 4,320,000,000 years and accounts for the 43,200,000 births. Every human has based on a 100-year life cycle. At the beginning of every creation, humans are born of two types, the divine and the demoniac. They are precisely sorted out and tabulated according to their previous righteous actions, which gives merit, and their previous unrighteous actions, which gives demerit. That a jiva or embodied being performed accumulatively in the previous creation along with the merits and demerits tabulated according to what food they consumed because reactions are incurred in this as well. This is known as karma or reactions to the actions that one physically engaged themselves in their previous lifespan. And this karma precisely determines the nature of their next birth. So, it, even, uh, so eating uh, sleeping, mating, defending, these are all activities which are a karma. So when we incur negative credits on these the simple biological activities, then we will fall in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the scale or of creation. That is, we know that those who are in the mode of ignorance, they can even go into uh, animal birth. Next slide. So similarly, those who have in the mode of passion, they can take birth in a uh, rajasic mode or in the demoniac families. So, uh, the, uh, Lord, say, uh, we know that um, even uh, this body, uh, the our the use of our senses in the service of the Lord. Uh, frees us from any karma. That's why we, um, the devotees, believe in eating only prasada, food offered to uh, food offered to the Lord. Otherwise, uh, they, they will. It is like incurring uh, a negative karma. So even in, in so in the in the, in the all of the. Senses, if you, uh, the activities of the senses, when we surrender to Lord Keshava, the Rishi Kesha, hmm, then uh, we are freed from all kinds of reactions, which take us to, uh, which, which take us to lower birds or in the demoniac families. So uh, that is, that is the basic um, uh, this is all I had to say about this one. Mm -hmm. And so, when, but then there are those who are demoniac but who do not offend Vaishnavas. Like we know uh, the Ajamla story. He was doing a lot of wicked activities, but then he was um, not offending any Vaishnavas. So, at the last uh, moment, he was saved by just a Nama Bhas chanting. So, in one, lect one lecture I heard, they are saying, we want to be a rascal, at least stay out of the path of Vaishnavas. That is a safe <laughs> heaven for being a demon. Um, so, otherwise, Lord, it's like, a, in, it is no longer like the demons may um, cause disturbances among themselves, kill each other. But that's uh, only, they are acting within the material um, uh, material nature. But once they infringe upon uh, the devotees, the causing uh, distress to the devotees, then Lord Vishnu will uh, uh, will be offended because he will punish those who are his devotees. Because Lord is, um, we have heard in uh, um, Ambarish Maharaj's story, how uh, the Sudarshan Chakra was, uh, you know, Oh, it's, it's ready to uh, kill uh, Durvasa Mani, but uh, I gave chase to him and finally Lord said, go ask forgiveness from my devotee. I have nothing to do with this. 
So the devotee is all empowered by the Lord or um, protected by the Lord. But the non-devotees are always, um, you know, so they better stay out of it. Mean, Vaishnava Aparath is very big. That way in uh, Chaitanya Charta, Rama Charta Amrita also we have um, uh, Lord punishing uh, Gopal Chapal, uh, Chapala um, for, because he off offended um, Sri Thakur. So, and uh, many more examples are there always. So, um, Didi is afraid now her sons will incur the wrath of the Supreme Lord. And she postponed giving birth to them for 100 years. So thank you very much. Sorry, I was you know, just here and there talking. Anybody has any comments or questions? So I think we can um, we can um, close here. Then watch our answer call to the group. Best to group us in group here. But it is not possible to watch the make Krishna. So uh, we, uh, we can end the meeting. It's already uh, two minutes past. If nobody has any questions. Mancha Galpada Rupya Chakrupa Sindhu Pyev Chapatidana Bhavne Pivashna Pyana Bhavne. Hare Krishna. I think uh, Lingaraj Prabhu is away. So we have to end the meeting. We have to just exit the meeting. Huh?